really emotional, tired, happy, um, just really overwhelmed. The kids are hilarious and they're wonderful. I never expected them to be as funny as they are. What have you got? Um, to be as funny as and, and as exciting, but there is there's an element of you always feel a bit guilty as a parent that you're not quite doing it right or you shouldn't be doing this or that or the other. <laughs> that went around your head. This is a program about attachment. What it is, how it varies, and what might produce more or less secure attachment in children. In the 1930s, a young psychiatrist working in a London child guidance clinic observed how many of the emotionally disturbed children he saw had been separated from their mothers in early life. This was John Bowlby, whose work would change the way psychologists thought about child development. His key idea was attachment. Attachment um, can really refer to any close relationship between two individuals, but in developmental psychology it's typically used to describe the relationship between a parent or a carer and a young child. After the Second World War, Bowlby developed his ideas further by studying children had been separated from their parents or been left orphaned by the war. And in 1951, he published his first statement of attachment theory. Up till then, it had been assumed that attachment was simply something babies learned. And the idea here is that uh, we, first of all, we need food. Food is a primary drive and that our relationship with the mother or primary caregiver evolves because we associate her with providing that food. 